This is Pete Lukowski from AmateurGolf.com. I've got a unique opportunity here for 2016. Callaway has a club called the XR16, and they co-developed some of the features with Boeing, who makes a few airplanes. So I've got Wayne here from Boeing. Hi, glad to be here. Thanks, Wayne. I've got Evan Gibbs with Callaway. Good to be here. Thanks for being on with AmateurGolf.com. Well, uh, as, I, as I said, it's uh, kind of unique when two companies like Callaway Golf and, and Boeing that are pioneers in what they do get together. Can you tell me a little bit how this partnership took place? Evan? Yeah, we've actually had a relationship with Boeing for quite some time uh, due to our mutual interest in composite materials. Uh, but this really grew out of a, a quest for improving aerodynamics. Um, and it's the first time we've, we've collaborated on a specific project or product. Um, and more specifically on a feature uh, on, the, on the crown of the product. Okay. Well, a lot of the, um, the visuals on the product I love. I hit it the other day and the top crown has some nice aiming and uh, characteristics to it. The bottom, uh, I'm guessing, has a lot to do with it. Where, where are you getting most of the aerodynamic benefits, Wayne? You want to handle that, Evan? Or sure. you want me to take it off? Uh, most of the aerodynamic yeah. drag is caused yeah. by the face and the crown. Um, due to the orientation of the club head through the swing, the sole doesn't uh, contribute very much to the drag. Uh, so the primary objective is to try and keep the flow uh, attached to the club head as long as possible, uh, delay that separation, uh, minimize the wake, and uh, that lowers the drag and increases uh, club head speed. And increased club head speed means you more ball speed, you more distance. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's good for everybody. Um, so Wayne, uh, when you came to Callaway Golf and, and, and they came to Boeing, what kind of experiences did you have working together? Oh, it was a great experience actually. Um, you know, we're always trying to continue to innovate at Boeing. And one of the, one of the benefits of this uh, collaboration was give our engineers an opportunity to see a, a different engineering uh, uh, entity and discipline um, and use their, their expertise from an aerodynamic standpoint to contribute to something very different than, than we do on a normal basis. And that was a great opportunity for us and uh, some of our engineers to experience that. Yeah, and how many people fought over the opportunity to work with uh, yeah, Callaway? A fair amount. And, and you know, interesting thing was that uh, a couple of the volunteers who volunteered weren't even golfers, and, and now they're taking up the sport. So yeah. uh, that, was, that was an exciting offshoot. Yeah, that was great to see. Well, and, 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 and then when you come down to it, it's a piece of engineering equipment, really. Well, and fundamentally, you, you look at the physics um, that are involved, and. Uh, aerodynamics over a wing, over a golf club, very different objects, obviously, and, and different uh, flight. However, the fundamental physics can really be uh, similar. And so when you break it down into a small problem like that, it uh, gives them an opportunity to really apply our expertise. And, uh, and then with uh, Callaway here, so many constraints going into a golf club that we learned um, makes it extremely challenging. But uh, so Two-way two -way street here. You both learned from each other on this thing. Definitely. That's great. Well, what's next? And do this again? Uh, I don't know. We'll, uh, kind of seeing how this see. goes and uh, see where we take it. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thanks for being on with AmateurGolf.com. Best it. of luck with the XR16. We'll tell our viewers about some of the other features. It's a, it's right out of the box. A great golf club. Yep. So we're very proud of it. Fantastic. Thanks.